Hello everyone, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. This particular problem is a functional equation problem. Functional equation problems are really very beautiful. What it says is that suppose you have a function f. You want to know what the function is. You are given some properties of the function. You want to know what the actual function is. So in this type of problems, the function itself is the unknown quantity. Uh, we discuss functional equation problems in our ISI CMI entrance programs, in our Math Olympiad programs. They are very beautiful. There is a very nice book by BJ Venkatshala on functional equations. So you can check that out. Okay. So this problem is actually much simpler. It says that there is a function f. There could be more than one function like that, but there, there is a function f which has this property. 4 times f of 3 minus x plus 3 times f of x equal to x squared for any number x, any input x. So the function has this beautiful property. With this information, can you find out the value of f of 27 minus f of 25? Okay, so how do we go about it? Okay, so we can actually find out f of 27. We can actually find out f of 25 individually and then compute it. But let's see how we can do it and I'll do most of it and then I'll give you a challenge problem, okay? So to find out f of 25, let's start with that. Let's plug in x equals to 25. So if I do that, I'll get four times f of three minus 25 plus three times f of 25 equals to 25 square. So this is four times simply, four times f of minus 22 plus three times f of 25 equals to 625. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, I will create another equation by plugging in x equals to minus 22. I'll do that in this particular functional equation. Just plug in x equals to minus 22. So four times, let's do that, four times uh, f of three minus minus 22 plus three times, three times f of minus 22 equals to minus 22 whole square. So, what do we have? We have 4 times f of 25 plus 3 times f of minus 22 equals to 484. Okay, that's great. So, we are actually almost done because we have two equations. We have two equations and we have two unknowns we can actually find out. So, let's put it here and you will immediately see the two equations are the two unknowns. We are up for f of 25. We want to find out f of 25. These are two equations. f25 and f minus 22 are two unknowns. So you can technically find out the value of f of 25. So what I'm going to do is I'll multiply the first equation by 4 and multiply the second equation by 3 and then I will subtract from the first equation the second equation. So 16 f of 25 plus 12 f of minus 22 equals to 4 times 484 and I have 9 f of 25 12 f of minus 22 equals to 3 times 625 and we can subtract the two and we get 7 times f of 25 equals to 4 times 484 minus 3 times 625. So we can just take the 7 downstairs and we get f of 25. Similarly, we can find out f of 27, then I can find out f of 27 minus f of 25 to get the final answer. Uh, Functional equations can be very interesting like this. You have to just play around with the input values a little bit. That's a preliminary strategy. For more advanced strategies, of course, you have to go into more advanced problems. So can you find out the value of f of 25? Well, I've already almost done it. 
just calculate it find the value of f of 27 and finally tell me what is f of 27 minus f of 25 in the comment section i've also added the link to our forum in the panini 8 math olympiad software where you can join the conversation and also check the answer thank you for joining in today it was great talking to you keep on doing great mathematics and i will see you in the next one bye